Hey, Melissa. Hey, Linda. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> How are you guys doing in the five minutes since I just talked to you? <laughs> I have to tell you that um, the cats, if you watch the Cat Fence um, series of scopes, at two in the morning last night, Tonka and Juna were just running, running, running. They are just running. Hi, um, Kelly. Oh my gosh, I just watched your scope and I can't remember your name. I don't think Kelly's right. Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, okay, Kelly. So, guys, Lavender and Fur does, um, intuitive jewelry making, similar to Sarah. Um, Kelly... If you want to follow at Thrive with Sarah, S-A-R-A, she holds uh, molluscopes where she makes intuitively guided um, mollusks. Actually, this is one of them. And Linda will be doing that too on here, Lindita Hazel. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, follow her on Periscope. So here's one that came from Linda who will be making them later, won't she? And then this one is uh, one of Sarah's. So some of them she makes and um, doesn't know who they're going to. So when you're watching it and you get hit by an emotional kapow, you know it's yours. Um, I'm just going to wait a second. Chit chat with you while I'm waiting for um, Catherine and possibly my mother to show up. But my name is Michelle Wolf. You can find me at caddyshackdesigns.com. I do uh, personal coaching and desire map workshops, um, Reiki. Yeah, she, yeah, one-on-one -on -one consultations is way cool. <clears throat> um, I'm a writer. I've got some books out there. A little bit of this and that uh, at the website. At the website. At the website. You can see the tabs for everything that I do. Across the top, there's tabs for everything that I do. <laughs> And it's C-A-T-T-Y, CaddyshackDesigns.com. If you're a Tag Tribes person, hashtag Tag Tribes, Mark Shaw put out an app that is um, really convenient for Tag Tribes people and finding each other and exploring. Hey, Linda. Um, Tag Tribes is a good group to be on if you're on Periscope because there's a huge wide variety of people scoping. And if you need a service, or you want to meet people outside of your field. Thank you, Linda. It's a great place to find people. So today, when I talk about um, Young Living Essential Oils, which is the ones that I use, I tend to focus more on their spiritual and emotional impacts because that's what's most interesting to me. Although the physical, I do use them for my physical self, um, the spiritual and emotional impact is what fascinates me more. And I usually just talk about one at a time. But today, I want to talk to you about four. Oh, yeah. Does it start with a D? <laughs> it's okay. We can talk about any brand here. It's just Young Living is the one that I know. Uh, I, I think doTERRA's. Uh, a quality oil too and actually those are the only two that I have a lot of confidence in but I like Young Living Best of course they're the ones that felt best to me but um, we can mention the D word here it's okay <laughs> so today I want to talk about the very intense and very expensive rose oil um, worth every penny easy to say because I'm not putting it on my credit card lately. I, I got some when it was on sale. Why Angelica, which I use for um, like spiritual cleansing, um, spiritual protection, um, angelic feelings, just feeling connected to spirit and just feeling like, hey, Catherine, I'm talking about the four today. Rose, 
And then I'm just now talking about the second one. And I'll tell you all the details about these. But White Angelica is a very powerful oil. No. Maybe three or four minutes? Three or four minutes? Is that how long it took your notification to come? Oh, that's so frustrating. So I believe that rose, the combination of rose and white angelica uh, restored one of my granddaughters to her normally, her previously happy state. She had to go through physical therapy. It was very hard for her. It was painful. Um, and she was flinchy and scared of people after that, which really sucked. They don't. Uh, no. One of them does. Only one of them does. They're, and they're all um, pricey. Yeah, White Angelica and Rose together I used for Altony. And now, so previously to physical therapy, she would look at you and just burst into a smile all the time. After that, she was very suspicious and um, flinchy. Like if you moved too fast around her, she flinched. So she kind of acted like an abused child. And in her opinion, she probably was. Um, physical therapy, she had a torticollis, and it was either that or she had to wear a helmet for six months. <coughs> so physical therapy worked, but um, it took a toll. Anyway, now, after four, four times of this mixed together and put on her top of her head and her heart, and I diffused it probably three times, and she's fine. She's back she's back then the other blend uh, other this comes in the starter kit linda the copa iba which i use for nearly everything anything painful gets this any kind of inflammatory thinking gets this and this is an amplifier for other oils so i'll tell you that's why i put it in here plant magic is incredible and then the ever elusive sandalwood which i don't think you can even buy this particular sandalwood Right now, I think you can only get the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. This is hard to get. I could be wrong, but it's been out of stock for a long time. Okay, so I'll tell you the reasons I put those four together. Yeah, so you can't even get this right now. So I am hoarding the hell out of this tiny bottle. This is all I have left. It lasts forever, and I generally just smell it, so it's still probably got probably half a bottle and I've had this bottle for two or three years and I've probably got half of it and I hoard the hell out of it because I can't replace it. So I wanted to show you this cool little thingy that my sister got me from, we went to a conference in Florida and Life Science Publishing puts out a lot of um, books about oils, young living oils and lots of cool little gadgets like this. So this is a, I called it a diffuser on my earlier scope but it's really an atomizer a T O M I Z E R. Excuse me for coughing, and the allergies are bad lately. Okay, so it's super cool, and it um, it's really pretty. It's like this brushed coppery orange color, and this unscrews. I'm paranoid. I'm gonna spill it. But this top comes off. See, it has a little um, thingy in there, a little thing, whatever those thingies are called. And then you put your oils in, and it just screws back together. And then you can spray your oils. So I did that because the oils in here are so expensive that I didn't want to put... Um, I didn't want to put a drop of this and a drop of that and another drop and another drop. I didn't also didn't want to stand there and put four different drops on me. Um, I wanted them all mixed together. And in a spray... <laughs> it likes my perfume. Oh, oh, it's landing on me. Oh. Oh. Did you see it? It was a bee. Or a, a bee. I, oh, mercy. Oh, mercy. Oh, God. I promise if you just stay still and take a deep breath, they will leave, leave you alone. So anyway, the atomizer. 
will make my oils last longer. And these are the expensive oils, so I want them to last a long time. No bees. <laughs> no bees. No pork. No bees or pork. We had a pork discussion. So anyway, so this is really small. See? Now my hands are kind of big, but... um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bees are... They hurt. They're hurty. They're hurty kinds. So that's, that's how big it is. Not very big. I know. Yeah, Michelle, you are. She's been studying where her emojis are. Okay, so let's chit chat about these oils. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, he's back. Can you see him? Uh, I also found the um, CD. <laughs> I'll upload that for you. Put it in, in the Facebook group. Okay, this is the book I'm going to be referencing, Reference Guide for Essential Oils. There, 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 ugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I understand and respect their purpose, but not around me. Yeah, I actually really like bees. I'd like to be a hobbyist beekeeper, um, but I haven't had the time uh, and my finances have been going in different directions, so I haven't been able to invest in that, but I really do want to. Okay, so... The reason I put this particular mix together is I'm going through a lot of changes. I'm going through a lot of spiritual growth at a really quick pace. Oh, you're kidding me. I've been talking for like 10 minutes already. That's insane. Um, so I want to be sure that the things that I'm feeling are feelings that belong to me and not feelings that I'm picking up from other people, um, which White Angelica is really good for, I think. Oh. The delays are so irritating. Um, I'm sure they had no idea when they created this app how it was going to take off. I mean, they have a tiny little staff. They have like 10 people, I think, on staff. So, I mean, we just got the Android update, and we all want them to work faster than I think they're capable of doing. So I wanted to be sure my feelings were my own and not other people's feelings. I've been doing um, a lot of workshops this year. I've been doing private individual coaching this year. And I really do a lot of tuning in to whoever I'm working with. And when I'm doing Reiki, I'm very connected to whoever I'm working with. So I want to always be sure that I'm coming back to center with just my stuff, not carrying other people's stuff. So I feel like White Angelica and um, Sandal were really good for that. Also, because I'm doing so much tuning in, I want to be sure that my vibration stays really high. And rose is a powerful oil. There's a reason it's so expensive. Um, it is emotionally powerful. It's physically powerful. It's extremely healing for the heart. A lot of the heart blends have, uh, you bring a lot of bioorganic materials in your home for your DNA keepsake line. Oh, that's interesting. Um, a DNA keepsake line. Hmm. The White Angelic is awesome. So let me go through the book and I'll tell you why. Uh, or that's why this particular blend. So Sandalwood helps me connect. I feel like it amplifies my ability to stay connected to God or spirit. Um, Rose uplifts me, make sure I'm coming from my heart, make sure my heart vibration is very clear and very strong. The White Angelica protects me from picking up stuff that doesn't belong to me or retaining stuff that doesn't belong to me, I feel like. And the Copa Iba is an amplifier. So I want these powerful oils, and the Copa Iba gives them a little extra boost. It's an amplifier for whatever it's paired with. So I want that trio of power punch, and then I want to amp it up just a little bit more, so I put Copa Iba with it. Uh, no, we, uh, well, these blends I can sell individually, or you can sign up as a retail customer and buy them retail. The, um, so my mixing of the blend, I can't sell. So you can't, as a distributor, I can't create uh, my own individual mix and then sell it. Um, they don't let us do that. I can sell kits. So I could sell a kit to make your own blend. Like a, I used to do that, like a spa mix, like a spa package would have two or three different oils and a package of Epsom salt. 
So that's possible. So let's see here. Copa Iba is an anti-inflammatory. And I've talked to you guys about Copa Iba before, and I know there's some people who haven't been here before. So let's just go over that one pretty quickly. Copa Iba I use for pain, for my personal pain, for inflammation of any kind. Inflammatory thoughts or inflam inflamed body parts. Comes from Brazil and Ecuador. Good for uh, occasional anxious feelings, muscle aches, and pain. Inflammation, inflammation, pretty much every kind of inflammation. Um, and for mood, inflamed thoughts, yeah. Angry thoughts, anxious thoughts. Um, hey there, Heath. It's said to elevate the mood and lift the occasional blue mood, depression-ish, depression-ish. Hi. We can't say it alleviates depression because then we get in trouble. But um, we'll say the occasional blue mood it may assist with. You know what I mean. Copa Iba is believed to amplify the effects of any other essential oil. I do believe that's true. Okay, so then let's go to sandalwood. If you can't find pure sandalwood, the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood, I believe, is a perfectly good alternative. Um, it smells fantastic. Um, I, I also think it's less expensive, which isn't, doesn't, I mean, just because it's less expensive doesn't mean that it's less valuable. Sometimes the oils are expensive because they're so hard to get. A starter kit for Christmas. That's a great Christmas present. You know, I try to talk to guys and tell them, your women would love these starter kits as a Valentine's Day present, an anniversary gift, a Christmas present. Yeah. So, okay, let's look at sandalwood and then we'll talk about rose. Duh. People sometimes don't think of that. Like, you can spend $160 on a, a really nice um, set of roses and candy and stuff for Valentine's Day. Or you can buy a starter kit and change your person's life forever. <laughs> oh, let's talk about rose first, because it comes first in the alphabet. I always forget that. Okay, so rose. So powerful. Uh, oh, the rose is so expensive because it takes an enormous amount of roses to create this tiny bottle. Five milliliters has 85 to 100 drops of oil. The wholesale price is $185. And I will pay it gladly. And here's why. One whiff out of this bottle, even with the cap on, I can smell it. One whiff is enough to bring me back to my heart. It's that potent. It's that powerful. It's astounding. Um, but it is an investment. Sometimes you have to save up for stuff that's precious. If you're working with your heart, um, Joy is a blend that has rose in it. And I believe White Angelica has rose in it too. So you can find the blends that have a little touch of rose in them that may be a little more affordable. Okay. Rose is calming, relaxing. The healing properties of the rose have been utilized in medicine throughout the ages and still play a highly important role in the East. Rose has been used for um, tons of physical problems related to tension. Oh yeah, the joy is good. The joy is really good, especially for heart-centered work. Oh, I forgot to tell Tanya that, that you get a, a personalized oil sample with your private coaching sessions. It's stimulating and elevating to the mind and creates a sense of well-being. Its beautiful fragrance is intoxicating and aphrodisiac-like. I haven't found it to be an aphrodisiac, but I have found it to be extremely um, compelling and uh, Intoxicating, I think, is a good word. I can really just sit. Like, I could just um, duct tape this right here. But since that's not very attractive, 
I just put it in my perfume atomizer instead. But really, I could just sit and smell it. it smells so good. Compelling. Yeah, I I I used it on the twins a lot because they were born premature. Um, there's just complications when you're a twin that are just part of being a twin. So I used it on them, like I said, like four or five times. And it really, um, well, it noticeably restored Ashlyn. And I believe that it um, helped Avery, too. They had birth trauma. Oh. You're born premature in a C-section. You have some trauma stuff, so. Let's get them while they're little before they have a lot of stuff to undo. This, uh, oh, it says not for children under six. Oops. I used it. They're fine. But please use with caution. When it does say that you need to be uh, used with caution and great dilution. I dilute, dilute it one drop anyway because it's just pricey and I need I want it to last as long as possible. A lot of people say that rose is the scent of the saints. And when you're visited by saints and some angels and people have said when they felt visited by a loved one who's died, they smell roses. That That's a fairly common um, anecdote that people will say, I smelled roses and then I felt this incredible love or um, I felt this incredible presence and it was accompanied by the sense of roses. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I can't imagine life without my diffuser. Anything I want the babies to get, I put in the diffuser. And the big girls too, their moms and them, I put in the diffuser. I'm diffusing a lot of stuff in their house all the time. <laughs> so I feel like um, Rose is powerful in a way that can't really be described. The book does say it's highest of all the oils, spiritual, and registers at 320 megahertz. It enhances the frequency of every cell, bringing balance and harmony to the body, and I would add to the combination of body, mind, spirit. Um, okay, so then let's talk about sandalwood. Sandalwood. Is Royal Hawaiian sandalwood listed in here? Let's see. Because we should probably talk about that one. It's the only one available. Um, sandalwood's been a, my favorite essential oil fragrance for years. Yeah, sandalwood incense is what I used to buy all the time. Um, I love sandalwood. My first mala was actually cedar wood beads that were um, soaked in sandalwood, something or other, so they smelled like sandalwood. And they were amazing. And since they're wooden beads, when they dry out, they lose their smell. So I'll put sandalwood on my hands and rub them together and then run my mala beads through it. Okay. So it looks like Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood's not in my book because I think it's a new one. I'm freezing up a lot. Are you, are you guys having connection problems too? The screen is periodically freezing here. Okay. Sandalwood. I think it's also one of the high... Okay, good. I think it's also one of the highest spiritual oils that you can get. Um, it's another one of those that I treat as really precious to me. And I hoard it. <laughs> and I'm careful with it. And I, I put it on my third eye. And I put it on my crown chakra when I'm meditating. When I feel troubled and I'm trying to let my emotions roll through me. Oh, good. Oh, she is getting fast with those emojis. A sailboat. I don't remember ever even seeing a sailboat. Um, it's a mood elevator. It's very similar to frankincense in action. Um, it says it removes negative programming from cells. I don't know exactly what they mean by that, but I can say that it removes, it alleviates negative thoughts. Um, it allows me to be calm and patient as I'm letting some emotional thing roll on through. 
It reportedly, in the book it says, the folklore is that it awakens the latent life force energy during meditation and frees the souls of the dead at funerals. Many cultures still consider sandalwood to be sacred. Sandalwood was traditionally used as an incense during ritual work for enhancing meditation. The Egyptians used sandalwood for embalming. It's another one of those really old, ancient oils that feels really old and ancient when you hold it. <clears throat> it affects emotional balance, your skin, your nervous system. It says it slowly and powerfully calms, harmonizes, yeah, sacred, and balances the emotions. It helps one accept others with an open heart while diminishing one's own egocentricity. That's kind of powerful. It may help enhance meditation by opening the third eye. It can also be stimulating as well as grounding, as it is said to vibrate between the seventh and the first chakra. Yeah, it probably does, huh? A holy it smells holy. Uh, stop. I just realized my husband is sitting on the couch watching me. Go away. <laughs> Uh, slowly and powerfully calms, harmonizes, and balances the emotions. I can definitely attest to that. It also says it's not for children under six. It's a modifier and an equalizer. It blends well with cypress, frankincense, lemon, myrrh, patchouli, and spruce, and lang lang or lang lang. I don't know how to say it. That flower. Okay. So in my blend, I've got super powerful rose, super powerful sandalwood, and um, the copa iba to amplify those. And then I'll, I'm going to talk to you about white angelica, which I think I may have talked about before, but it's been a while. And um, oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. White angelica is the oil I recommend for anybody doing healing work with um, like Reiki or Kofutu or any of the energetic energy balancing, even like um, healing touch, any kind of thing where you're connecting to other people and you're using your intuition. I recommend I white Angelica for making sure that you don't keep their stuff. So you tune in to somebody and you get a sense of where they're at. And then you want to, when your work is done, make sure that you don't bring any of that with you. Oh my gosh, it's taking me forever. Nope. That's interesting. Do you like daffodils? They're really pretty. Well, there isn't in, in Young Living. There's no daffodil oil. It's taking me forever to get to the W's. Okay. Okay, White Angelica. It's expensive. Uh, again, it's worth it. But, you know, some things you have to budget for. Just like any health-related thing or spiritual development or personal development thing, sometimes you have to budget. Oh, past life stuff. That's interesting. Um, daffodils are lovely. White Angelica has 10 different oils in it, and a lot of them are very intense. Um, so the price it reflects how hard it is to get an oil, how many plants, how many pounds sometimes of plants it takes to create an oil. Um, okay, so here's what it says about White Angelica. This unique blend of 10 different oils creates a frequency field to ward off the bombardment of negative energy. It's important for use in emotional cleansing. It may help increase the aura around the body, bringing a delicate sense of strength and protection and greater awareness of one's potential. It may also help with anger, um, occasional depression, headaches, especially when flying. I don't know why. Um, and calming. So it has bergamot in it, geranium, myrrh, another ancient sacred oil, sandalwood, rosewood, lang lang, spruce, hyssop, another biblical old oil, melissa, and rose. So you can get the benefits of rose in the white angelica blend along with all the other stuff. 
um, and it's easier on your budget. So bergamot is soothing to the endocrine system and to the hormones. It may uplift and calm emotions, uh, useful for anxiety, stress, tension. Geraniums, uh, a detoxifier. It opens the solar plexus chakra. It says the liver chakra in the solar plexus. Um, helps one let go of anger and negative emotions. So uh, when it says it helps let go of negative emotions, for me it helps me not pick them up in the first place if they belong to someone else. Myrrh is part of the formula the Lord gave Moses in Exodus um, 30 verses 22 through 27. It promotes spiritual awareness and is a true gift. When we open our hearts and minds to receive the gifts, they will be given. That's the tricky part. We ask and then we have to work on receiving. Um, sandalwood, like frankincense, increases the amount of oxygen in the body. I don't know how that's measured. So we'll take that with a grain of salt. Assists in removal of negative programming. Rosewood helps bring synergism to all the oils, soothing to the skin, appeasing to the mind, creates a feeling of peace and gentleness. Um, Lang, Lang helps balance the male and female energies so one can move closer towards being in spiritual attunement and able to focus your thoughts, filtering out ever-present garbage thoughts. Brings back feelings of self-love, confidence, joy, and peace. Spruce is grounding for the body, creates balance and the opening necessary to receive and to give. I did not know that about spruce. That's very interesting. Also helps in releasing emotional blocks. Hyssop, H-Y-S-S-O-P, was used by Moses during the Lord's Passover in Egypt, which is can, you can find reference to that in Exodus 12. These are biblical references. It has uh, anti-inflammatory properties, opens up. Uh, the respiratory system may also stimulate meditation and promotes centering. So Young Living does, uh, because Gary Young is a heavily spiritual pur purpose, all tree ones like spurs and fruit, so all the deciduous trees, grounding and good. Is it deciduous? That's the cedars and the pines and the spruces and Douglas firs and all that. Um, Gary Young sometimes comes off like a crackpot, but he, I think it's because he is highly attuned to things and doesn't do such a great job communicating them sometimes. He also doesn't appear to give a rat's ass about FDA regulations. And so he just kind of says what he wants to say. And sometimes that's good. And uh, sometimes it's not so good. And I've, I've heard some of his statements that sound a little um, wackadoodle, but the underlying foundation of his information is quite solid melissa melissa i don't think you can get either it's very hard to get it's often out of stock it's also one of the super powerful oils i don't know why it's so hard to get i don't know if it's hard to distill or the plants are fragile or what but it's gentle and delicate because of the nature of the plant it has the ability to work with and enhance and enhance the gentle aspects of the human body, and I would say the emotional body too. Calming, uplifting may help balance the emotions. It may also help remove emotional blocks and instill a positive outlook on life. So you see that these 10 oils, you've got lots of emotional block removing, lots of negative energy and negative emotions, support in releasing that or not taking it on in the first place. Um, lots of spiritual references in this blend. It's just, it's really potent. And then Rose, again, possesses the highest frequency of all the oils, may help enhance the frequency of every cell, which can help bring balance and harmony to the body. It is thought by some to produce a magnetic energy that attracts love and enhances the frequency of self-love, bringing joy to the heart. So you can get those benefits of rose. Somewhere in here, it will tell us all the blends that you can find rose in. But I know Joy and I know Why Angelica. Um, Catherine, do you know off the top of your head if what other blends rose might come in? Flower. 
541, 544, and 552. Let's see. 552. Okay, it comes, so you can get rose in the blends Egyptian Gold, Envision, Forgiveness, Gathering, Gentle Baby. We use Gentle Baby a lot. Um, Harmony, Humility, Joy, Sarah, Trauma Life, White Angelica, and the Rose Ointment. And that is my four powerhouse blend of, um, for growth and protection and awakening and all those things. I, I just used the table of, or the index. <laughs> that book has a good index. And then putting them in an atomizer. And this was not, um, I don't believe this was horribly expensive. Life Science Publishing. You can Google that. Uh, so this is about 10 drops of rose, 25 or so drops of white angelica, two drops of sandalwood, because I'm super hoardy about that one, and then um, the rest is copaiba. So probably about another 20 drops of copaiba. And, then it, and it really does smell great. The rose oil does not smell great when you first spray it, but when it sits on your skin. DiscoverLSP.com. There you go. DiscoverLSP.com has tons of oil resources, books, gadgets. Uh, my niece is now selling, or going to be soon selling, diffuser oil necklaces that are, can be custom ordered. So when she's sending me one, uh, thank you, Altony, when I get it, then I'll show it to you and I'll... Um, I know, right? We should be getting like an affiliate fee. For as many people as we send to Life Science Publishing. DiscoverLSP.com Put your expensive stuff in an atomizer so you can use it as a perfume. You can spray it around and it'll last longer. And then as I was saying, these oils don't smell good when you first spray them. But when they sit and interact with your skin and your body chemistry, then they start to smell really good. So I've been talking all morning and I'm, so I'm going to wrap this up and go actually do the harder stuff like dealing with taxes and student loan forms and health insurance and stuff like that. So I wanted to do my fun stuff this morning and now I can do my yucky stuff with a better attitude. <laughs> um, any questions, you can contact me again, caddyshackdesigns.com. Yeah. Love you. Love you bunches. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is A Course in Miracles book a day. So I'll see you in the morning for that.